into your Friday. Still going to be looking at a beautiful start to the weekend this afternoon. This morning, mid to upper 50s and in inland areas, lower 60s as you push closer to the coast. Things you'll want to have with you today. Definitely a pair of sunglasses. And if you're going to be outdoors, maybe some sunscreen. Still going to be warming into those lower 70s. By the time we get to noon today, we'll still have a little bit of those breezy winds, but high temperatures going to warm into the mid 70s. Lots of sunny conditions during this time. Still going to be looking at pretty much mid 70s here in Savannah, lower 70s elsewhere around the area, unless you're going to be south of the Altamaha, but 18 mile or per 18 mile an hour winds this afternoon gusts up to 25 miles per hour as we get closer to noon up to 25 to 30 as we get closer to five o'clock. So especially in our northern areas, be careful on your way home. Also, if you're going to be traveling north to south, you'll feel the worst of this. These should calm back down as we go into this evening. If you have those Friday night plans, temperature is going to be cooling down into the mid 50s through about midnight. And then as we head into your Saturday, more of this beautiful weather continues. Wind speed gradually decreasing 20 to 25 miles per hour tomorrow. Still going to be looking at high temperatures to warm into the mid 70s out there, so we'll be near average. It'll be 76 here in Savannah, a 77 as you get south of the Altamaha, and then 74 for both Hilton Head and Tybee Island, but beautiful weather as we head into this weekend, and it's not even going to feel muggy out there. Dry conditions because that cold front took away all the moisture. We're going to get more of that coming back as we go into the next few days, but the breeziness out there today, the sunny conditions, all because of this high pressure as it shifts farther to the east. That's going to bring some more of that moisture still during this time. Sunny skies continue. We'll be dancing around those mid to lower 80s and then we'll be tracking our next system. It's going to be working its way in possibly as we get into the second half of next week. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that, but really no problems with your weather as we head into the next seven days. Still going to look for a few days with a little more cloudiness as we head into the middle of next week, but coldest temperature out there in the morning going to be in those lower 50s to upper 40s, both Saturday and Sunday.